Today, Make It Artsy features the brush, an artist's most important tool. We couldn't look at brushes without featuring the brush strokes of Vincent van Gogh, one of the most famous Dutch post-impressionist painters. He's known for the movement in history created by brush strokes, but today, I'm actually gonna be using a straw as my brush. So let me just get to the reasoning behind this for a moment. So Van Gogh used a lot of really inexpensive materials when he worked, and one of them was a reed pen, which is pretty much a brush made from a reed. But we're gonna do that with a straw. So to create the brush, it's a snip, of the scissors at an angle, and now my brush is ready to use. So for ink, I'm gonna use another thing that Van Gogh loved. These are walnut ink crystals, and I'm adding them to hot water. The more of them you add to the water, the darker your ink. And I'm just gonna stir that in. And like magic, that powder and this straw are going to allow me to start drawing. Isn't that amazing? So now I can go ahead and I can draw anything that I want, and depending how much I add, how much pressure I put on the straw, I can change the way that the stroke looks. And if you run out of ink, that's a celebration moment. That's not a mistake, because I'm just gonna let that be. And you can see you can do big marks, little marks, all kinds of things, all drawn with this straw and your little walnut ink crystals. And one of the things that I think is so fun about this is adults, kids, everyone gets excited with the idea that they can draw with a straw. Now, if you look at some of these little samples that I have out here, some of these are just doodling and playing and seeing about the kind of strokes I can make. I did do a face here, but taking inspiration further from Van Gogh, you can see that I rendered my own sunflower still life using walnut ink and just a simple drinking straw.